welcome back everybody to the final chapter of our save our ship series today we start work on the final ship design using everything we've learned everything we've accrued we're gonna put everybody on the ship this time around and when it dies it dies or we'll sail forever and instead put a time limit on things i guess but we'll see how we get on so I've done some things in preparation for this episode because today is going to be planning and designing a ship, probably putting a bit more brain power into it this time rather than going for aesthetics. Our first ship, ship version 1.0, of course, the, the the Joris was kind of the the logical extreme of base save our ship. Big powerful laser in the middle. We had a huge vessel with automated facilities, automated food production, torpedo production, a research lab, everything. We took it to its absolute limit. Only to discover, of course, that compared to the Arcotech stuff, it was it was irrelevant. Second ship, early Arcotech, the the, the Joris II was the uh, you know the kind of um, ball with the laser on the front of it. Uh, that one did pretty well, but of course fell very flat compared to a lot of the end game Arcotech level ships. Third ship was the um, of course the one we we took apart yesterday, the hexagonal ship, which even though it had access to the end game tech, was still absolutely nothing compared to them. That was definitely a form over function ship. So now we're going to flip that around with hopefully everything we've learned and build a very much function and no form ship. I'll try and do some aesthetics with it. I should of course carry out this episode as well, and of course the upcoming episodes too. With uh, my my jaw is still in a lot of pain, still a little bit fucked. So if I slur my words or sound a little bit weird, that's because um, my gum line is filled with antibiotics and painkillers. Uh, so that's go that's going quite nicely. Let's get to it then. So in uh, in preparation for this episode, I did a couple of things. Number one is I, I added some stuff to the base for aesthetics reasons. While they took apart the other ships, that of course took ages. The other project was, I'm specifically not zooming out here until I've kind of preempted this. Um, I finished off all of the combiners as one and did a full base redesign and set some more drills up so that we could start bringing in plenty of resources in advance. So let me show you the final version of our little base here. Um, of course, we had more or less all of the combiners we needed for uh, at the end of yesterday's episode anyway. Um, kind of put down a couple more rows there, and I've let those run for quite some time. Um, put down some of the, like, I don't know what exactly we left off on yesterday's episode. I kind of tidied things up. Put down a little room for our spare armor set so that when these guys pull out of storage, we can quickly get them equipped. Repair stands for weapons should they get damaged and whatever else. Um, so up here, I put down a little kind of research space room. It was really just for aesthetics to fill the gap, to be honest with you, because we had nothing else to put there. A little little rocket to remember where we came from, of course, the last series, where we went and explored the moon um, and turned our moon base into our first ship before we came onto this one. A little memorial, really, with, with this one being there. Plenty of drop pods and shit for reasons I haven't decided. Again, just for aesthetics. But the functional thing that I did was I added these extra little drills here. All of those are set to infinite drill, um, both of plasteel and steel, so that we have plenty of that ready in advance, bearing in mind we sunk all of the plastic and stuff from the last ship straight into these and it still wasn't enough so along with that uh basically today i said hey you know what i'm gonna stick it on peaceful we're just gonna generate as many resources we're gonna need to design a crazy ship and we're gonna see how far we can take it so um went to the shop and i made some some pizzas at home uh, some lovely homemade pizzas and then i ate them and during all that time i left this stuff running so i haven't yet checked how much arco matter and ascended arco matter we've got kicking around but i imagine it's a staggering amount uh, yep, that'll do it. 1.1 million Arco Matter. And then for Ascended Arco Matter, we have a mighty... Come on. Let, that's, uh, I don't know, like 400,000? 690,000. That'll probably do it, I think, for our, for our for our ship, hopefully. Let's see what we can do with it then. I quite like our base. You know, uh, jokes aside with the ship, I mean, this is quite good, huh? You know, like quite a nice functional kind of futuristic little design here. So I walled around this and this is the area we're going to have to build our vessel. Now it's not going to be like a screen dominating vessel like we've seen with some of the ships. We're not going to have that much room. Uh, bear in mind we've seen ships that take up a massive chunk of space. But it should be big enough for, if we optimize it decently, something hopefully competitive. And what have, what have we had dropped down here? Oh, space mushrooms. Excellent, just what I wanted. Let's go and grab those. Now, the idea I, I kind of floated yesterday was building a much more modular ship. So having like a, a cooling room, so to speak, um, and having those dotted around where we've got kind of an optimal cooling configuration, maybe of, of, of the right amount of, of cooler to heat sink ratio, putting those throughout the ship again, decentralizing things so that one stray torpedo can't knock out a whole heating grid and by extent take out the whole ship. 
Um, there's plenty of things to really focus on here. I think we will start by putting the bridge in the middle, as we normally do. And we'll build out this time. Um, the trick I've fallen into a lot, uh, with, with a lot of these ships, of course, is, is putting the external walls down and put, trying to fit stuff in it. We'll, we'll do it the opposite way around. And we'll try not to put any walls down that aren't necessary to the actual ship kind of, um, kind of running. So... Unless it's a room where temperature is key, and we've got to kind of keep a, keep a particular value on that, we just won't put any walls down until we've planned things out nice and thoroughly. It would be really nice to have an automated factory for Doom Caller torpedoes as well, but I won't bank on that. Um, that would be, be something that would take up a significant amount of room. Better mind, Doom Caller torpedoes have quite a lot of ingredients involved in it. We need a refinery, need hydroponics to refine things down into. We would need. Um, uh, crafting areas for Synthread or, or whatever the ingredient was. Might have been Hyper Weave in hindsight. Uh, you know, it, that'd, that'd be quite a multifaceted thing and would take up a lot of room. So we'll focus to start off with on just the core vessel itself and then we'll throw in some other stuff afterwards. So then, um, where do we even start? I want to use the Dragonfire Cannons. I want to use a lot of those because I think they're awesome. And I want to use a lot of these Banisher Cannons too for the EMP side of things. Um, as for actual weapons... I don't think we use anything else besides, you know, kind of these three and these two up here. Um, even then, I think the arc light cannons are quite nice compared to the other two. Like, those are the ones that did that massive explosion, correct? So that in combination with the Dagon Fire Cannon and the Banisher Cannon gets some stagger on there. That'd be kind of interesting. As for spinal barrel weapons, I feel like they've been kind of left in the dust by, by the Dragon Fire Cannon, which is just disgustingly powerful. Um... So I think that, that these maybe aren't necessary anymore. Especially because when we tried out that spinal barrel laser, it didn't do anything. Remember, it bounced off that, um... <laughs> it bounced off that standing lamp. So I can only see maybe it couldn't punch through the shields or whatever whatever was going on with that. Um, we won't worry about that too much. We need to use these a lot more frequently as well. The ascended shield generators. Those things are super, super powerful and they, they don't require heat or anything. It's just they will be disabled by EMP. So you quite literally need a silver bullet to get through... The ascended shield generators otherwise they can't touch us so make sure the entirety of the outside of the ship is surrounded by maybe multiple layers of those just in case they have um rather than stagger the mp5 burst the mp5 maybe they all follow the same range maybe they all fire at once bounce off the same shield etc etc um that would be quite good so we'll start right in the middle um so why don't we plan it how much how much room have we got ready here to build with um Let's kind of go, and I use planning a lot more this time too, whereas before I would plan out by placing the wall, I feel like it's not so relevant this time. Um, so let's just assume this is quite literally our maximum area. Um, engines, of course, we need to put internally in the ship, and I need to not underestimate the engines we need. I've fallen into that trap twice with the ships that we built previously, whereby both of them I've had to kind of find room and, and change the design towards the end, because of course we're adding more and more stuff, and that's not been accounted for during the first design, so the you know, there's not enough room for engines. Um, let's plan this out, and then we'll try and find where roughly the center of our little dry dock area is. Um, and we'll put the bridge roughly around there. So we're going to plan this out just so we've got a little bit of room around the edge. Um, you know, for doors and, and shit like that. But also so it's not buffing up against the uh, against the wall and we'll launch the whole base into all but again. Although that would be kind of fun. You know, we could just put uh, a, a fucking roof over this whole thing, fill this with coolers and, and power and shit, and launch the whole thing into space. Um, I just worried that it might crash the game at that point. A plan line from this corner to this corner. This isn't going to be particularly scientific. I hate to say it. Um, and then we'll draw it from like here to to there. Let's just try and work out whether whether where the lines overlap the most. Um, do that one roughly like that. Looks about right. It gets quite difficult to bloody tell when we're on this friggin' ice, though, huh? I'm trying to make them <laughs> equally shaped lines, but I think it's quite tricky in this situation. Okay. Um, God, I can barely see that shit. We should use the more planning mod and put it down as, like, red or something like that. Um, I'm going to assume the middle is somewhere around, like, here. That looks about right. If we float this entire... No, it would be somewhere up here, wouldn't it? Because you've got to bear in mind this corner's kind of cut out. So it'd be around, be around here, I think. So I'm just going to drop the bridge randomly around there. I'm just going to put it down randomly around there, and we'll build out from that. Fuck it. Do we want to do doubled up or tripled walls around the bridge? No, we obviously don't. Because if we... You know, if, if they're getting to the center of a ship this large, and the bridge is the final thing left standing, we're not going to win either way, so what does it matter at that point? We might as well go down with things uh, a little bit quicker. So I'm just going to go something like that. 
how much room do we need realistically for the bridge? Not a huge amount. We probably want that to be directly connected up to a kind of a living area, which we will need on the ship if we're sending everybody up. I'm not going to go so decadent. Well, we'll go decadent, but we'll use Arco Matter so we can make everything smaller and still be just as luxurious. We'll do a direct path from the bridge to there. And then, to be honest, outside of repairs, our people don't really need to go elsewhere in the ship. We could do, you know, like the moon base. One of my favorite designs we've actually done with any of these ships is on the moon base. We put that massive um, path around the entire edge of the ship to let our people get there quicker. It also provides a nice little gap as well for extra missiles to bounce off from. Um, so that could be quite good. Do we want to use up this the entire area as a ship? I don't see why not. It would be a hideous shape. We could round off the edges or something like that. It would be a hideous shape. Um... But it's the maximum build zone we've got, right? So why don't we just automatically... I know I said I wasn't going to build around the outside of, of these walls. Um, but the truth of it is we can't build any larger than that anyway unless we start knocking down our, our actual planet side base. Um, so we might as well just build this outside wall, right? What we don't want to do is fall into the trap of, of building specific areas for stuff. Um, actually, this won't look too terrible given that none of the walls really are, you know, super lined up like that. Uh, we've got like these weird kind of corner segments thrown in there. It's not going to just look like a big, horrid, fucking right angle ship. Could stick some like big fuck off spinal lasers in this segment. That will kind of break up the monotony of the actual design. But again, this is this is this ship is about form over function. Um, now that I can see that, I can clearly tell that the bridge should be if we really want to make it central a bit further down here. Yeah. Um, doesn't really matter too much though, does it? Doesn't really matter too much. That's all right. Um, don't, don't, just don't worry about those things too much. We'll get this down immediately. We'll get some ship tiles down. We'll put the necessary essential stuff, bridge, computer core, whatever else. And then we'll just start building out from there. Um, but anyway, we can't start putting our ship components properly until we get the, uh, uh, until we get the hull plating down. This is going to be ambitious though. Let's wake up the hauling bots and get those to, uh, give us a bit of a hand. Somebody actually made a very, very good point about this. We should build them tools out of Arca, uh, out of the Ascended Arco Matter. Because in theory, it'll help if we build them like a hammer or something. Actually, I don't know if the bonuses confer like that. If they do get the bonus to the work speed, depending on the material it's made out of. Um, if I could even fucking find like hammers and shit. There we are. Um, it's just a base 30%, isn't it? Yeah, okay. I was going to say we could, um... We can make out the Ascended Arc Theorem and see if we would actually get the bonus to the to the construction speed. Fuck it, we'll test it. I don't think it works like that though, does it? Uh, just get stuffable. I think that just quite literally affects the DPS and the um, uh, hit points that it has. And that's about it. We'll get Ciala just to test it. Because hey, I mean, it, we could build the ship instantly if it did work like that. Yeah, it's, a, it's a flat construction chance. Melee damage per second though. 451%. I mean, if we just gave that to all of our builders as kind of a sidearm. I suppose it is 33% bonus at the end of the day. I mean, that's not insignificant, especially when you're building something of this size. That could be quite a lot of time saved, especially for the guys that don't have the um, the Arcaferium either. You know what? X per person. Sod it. Let's do it. X per colonist, where X is X is one, strangely enough. I decided my new metric for checking on the ship is whenever Mondo and Hoka start fighting. So let me show you what I've done so far. I originally had this planned out in a different area. Um, but then I realized I, we could just build a big fuck off gun again. Um, and, you know, kind of see what it does. Maybe I didn't build it long enough. Maybe there was just a bug last time where it bounced off something. Whatever, it doesn't really matter too much. Anyway, here we are. Um, so I originally had this kind of bridge section up here in the center. And that's why I moved it all to the side. Obviously, it's a bit more dangerous having the bridge this close to the edge of the ship. So if they get the shields down, get a good few shots through, ship's over. You know, we're done for really early on there. Um... So, I am going for quite a risky play, I guess. It's also just occurred to me, I built all this shit and I didn't leave any room for fucking shield generators, did I? That's okay, we could put some down, move the ship into orbit, we could take these walls out, it doesn't matter too much, it's not a big deal. Um, but yeah, this is the entire recreation zone. So we've got uh, 16 double beds there for our 15 people. Um, one spare, so that it's nice and symmetrical. We've got random hydroponics bays dotted around here and there. Um, we've got like the, the ship freezer with meals and meat grinders being produced automatically. Um, some more hydroponics. Since you're just growing rice and lentils, I thought sod the rest. That would be that'd be probably enough. This zone is kind of a, a bridge area. Um, you've got room for the captain, the uh, the, the commander, and the ship's counselor, um, who at this point is probably going to be Dr. Don MD, so I'm sorry for you guys. We've got just kind of various shit. These things count as recreation items, so it's not a complete waste of room. Um, but I put down this big area for the bridge, and I was like, got to fill up something now, right? So that, that, that can be there. Um, and generally, the crew is never going to leave this section unless there is an emergency somewhere else in the ship. 
On the subject of that, I have been very slowly building out the next level of our amplifier. Luckily, if Mondo or Hocus get to it, they can just kind of bash it out in two seconds flat. Um, and it's really not that expensive either. It's like 50 Arco matter per chunk. I mean, the plastic and shit's cheap too. So this is actually being built faster than the other old gun is would built because of the Arcavirium and crap like that. Oh, and I doubled up the walls too. Um, I thought that was kind of an essential change, seeing as, again, if they manage to punch through one layer of ship, we're in a... We're in a lot of trouble there. You see, I put down these recesses, planning to not really do much with them. But in hindsight, that's kind of the perfect area for a shield generator. Um, so nanotech shield generator. If we were to... That's not right. A nanotech shield generator. So we kind of stick them along here. It's not going to be... It might not cover the whole thing. Um, so we might have to put kind of a hole in the wall there or something like that. But we'll kind of see if we can cover most of the external sections of the ship. Um, I guess putting them as close to the actual edge of the ship itself would be more ideal, wouldn't it? Get slightly more coverage along the, uh, along the y-axis. There we are. Okay. We'll see how that looks in a second. And then I'll just kind of, again, I'll, I'll put my holes in the ship as and when it becomes relevant. Suppose we could move the bridge. I, I still don't like this. I think it's a big waste of space. And I'm thinking instead we could put down drills in a factory area for automatic torpedoes instead. That way, if our people need to get up to here to, to change things or a proper workroom or something like that, you know, it, it's easily accessible. The bridge we don't really need to go into unless we are scanning, which we're not really going to be doing too much of. I am going to get rid of this in hindsight. Let's, let's let's kind of plan this out a little bit better and replace this room with a, with a kind of working area. We could put the storage in here, etc, etc. But I just don't like the ship bridge being that close to the map edge. I think it's a, I think it's a dangerous idea. Fortunately, Hocus and Mondo haven't beat the shit out of each other for quite a while. So I'm just going to do a bit of a manual update here. Um, obviously, the, the, the kind of residential living area, I've kind of changed it a little bit uh, based on, uh, on what I was saying about the bridge. So I moved the bridge really, really far in. Um, right next to the mighty central gun, which took a bloody long time to build. I figured before I get too much on the nitty gritty, we need to get the external shields done so that I don't fall into the same trap where I'm having to kind of ram them into the wall as I've done back up here. Um, I've also covered the whole thing in a very nice Arcotech shield grid, um, which covers the entire ship. Uh, obviously, I can't select it all on the same screen, but that covers the whole thing. So in the event that we are not hit by EMPs, I think we are invincible. But in the event that we are hit by EMPs, I've put down just a fucking shitload of cooling. Um, following the two to one ratio, for, so for every two, um, sorry, for every for every heat core, we have two coolers, right? So our current heating, uh, let's quickly, oh, also I've made it so the cables terminate right at the end here, so we can very clearly see that this is connected and this is connected right. Um, so this has however many, you can work, whatever that number is, I don't know. Um, we have that much heating capacity now, which is pretty fantastic. I made sure it's also cabled up to the bridge so we can actually see these things this time. The only thing I haven't done yet with regards to power is uh, capacitors, which I don't really know where to put them. I don't really know where to put anything right now, to be honest with you. Um, but now we've got the external stuff done, we can just kind of put shit down as we feel like it. Now, one thing I noticed, I did actually check this about half an hour ago. I don't know if it's changed since I built some more stuff. But we're actually way beyond critical mass. What I mean by that is we're now up to 1.2 million ascended arco matter. So just in the time it's taken to build this, granted it has currently been four hours, um, we have accrued another 600,000 arco matter on top of the stuff that we've spent on all this crazy shit. Bear in mind, each one of those arco ones are 5,500 piece. Although, granted, when you've got 600,000, it doesn't seem that much, huh? Um... So yeah, things are things seem to be going well. I actually haven't checked the roof. I was going to say that would really fuck us up. No, it looks all right actually. Wow, look at that. Um, I specifically made sure they covered over this roof. Uh, I, I'm keeping everything on roof because I really don't care. Besides this area, because I had to make sure that the temperature was consistent inside. Uh, obviously inside the um, reactor room there. Uh, so that's looking pretty good. Might have gone a bit overkill on the uh, on, on on these things. So could do with a big hydroponics patch to grow more ice crystals. That's a really good idea. I'm glad I remembered that. Um, let's put down then. Let's go husbandry. Uh, let's put down just a bunch of artificial ecosystems. And we'll just load the ship up with... Maybe like this big central section here. Just load it up with a shitload of ice crystals. Um, we could go... What do you think like a group of... Uh, we could do like a... A 3x3 three three with a sprinkler in the middle. I don't know if... Uh, there is a, a definitely a, a, a best ratio for this. And I'm not going to fuck around with it too much because it really doesn't matter. Um, but we'll put down a bunch of kind of hydroponics. And I don't want to go too close to the front of the ship because I want to put some guns along the front here. Um, I think that's all right. And then we'll just kind of blueprint this out. And this will be just for growing our, our icy crystals, I guess. Um, 
Let's also put down kind of preemptively some of the harvesters too, right? So Mechanite Extra Large Cultivator. Oh, look at that. Oh, that couldn't have been any more perfect. Holy shit, he's actually built the room the right size. Shit. Oh, that's incredible. Um, of course, we all need the um, the input. Now, what I've got over here is ship storage. I put down these drills. I only put a bill in a, in a couple of them, actually. Specifically, just these three. Um, but we can have those infinitely mining steel. Now, this is hopefully going to stop the issue that we've had before, where I've gone into space and some of our pipes and our floors have disappeared, um, just kind of transitioning the maps over. But I want to launch everybody into space with this ship and maybe abandon the Earth base as much as, as nice as it looks and as much effort as we put into it. This is the end of the series, you know, ultimately. So we don't need the, the, the Earth base anymore. So I want to make sure we've got everything we could possibly need on the ship. So I might even take some combiners with us um, just to help rebuild things in the event. We could uninstall all of them, put them all on the ship in the storage thing, um, and then set them up as is necessary. You know, clear some room, just put them, you know, really down wherever here. Um... Yeah, cool. So let's get this set up very quickly. In terms of actual logistics, what do we need here? We need ice crystals. Um, we need Archimata, uh, uh, the, the, um... Oh my god, I can't remember what it's called now. Ascended Archimata fuel pods. But besides that, that's really it. That's what the whole ship's fueled on. Obviously, Ascended Archimata here. These need the, um, the ice crystal pods, whatever they're called. Besides that, what else do we consume? Food for our people, and that's genuinely it. My god, we need a cloning button there. Where well, they traipse back and forth to get into those areas. My god. Um... Yeah, that's basically it, right? As far as I can tell. Okay. Um, I guess we don't really need much else. And of course, this is probably going to be overkill just for the ice crystals. Um, so we could always swap some of those out later on if, if we're finding that it's producing way too many. Of course, using the sprinklers means they're probably going to grow extremely fast anyway. Like previous ships, I'm going to dedicate probably a couple of episodes to building this one. Um, it's a real shame we don't have kind of this area free, so we can make it nice and spectacle. But when we get in space, we can always smooth it off if we need to. Um, this might end up being massively overkill, and we might cut down the size anyway. We might take a big... Or make it symmetrical on this side as well. So what we've done over here... Actually, that's not a bad idea. What we've done over here, we could bring it on this side. Um, and then it can look like a giant inverted cock again. Just like every ship we build. <laughs> Ultimately, I'm really not against that idea because I don't know what I'm going to fill all this extra space with. We could fill it with, yeah, sure. Power plants after power plants and capacitors after capacitors and guns after guns after guns. I feel like that's, you know, we could dedicate episodes and episodes and episodes to doing that, but where's the challenge in it, you know? We could make it as unoptimized and just fill every fucking free slot with crap. But that doesn't seem particularly fun. At that point... You know, we're just throwing everything in and, and kind of it will work by by um, by the extent of just being absurd and, and over the top. So I want to kind of be a bit more refined than that, ideally. Um, I do like the idea. That also makes it not look so hideous if we copy what we've got going on this side over on the other side as well. I'm a big fan of that, actually. I think that'll look quite cool. Maybe smooth off this a bit. God knows how we do that. Maybe cut away this bloody rice field, which we really don't need. Um, smooth off that side a little bit too, and then it'll look pretty decent. And if we do it properly, it could kind of look like, for those of you who played uh, Sins of the Solar Empire, uh, one of the titans in that is this kind of, uh, how do I best describe it? Like, almost like a lotus bloom looking ship with kind of a tail coming out of it, um, which has this giant gun in the center, which is essentially what we've built here. Um, yeah, I quite like that design. So I think what I'm going to do then is copy what we've done over here and, and import it the other way around. Maybe smooth off this corner and smooth off this corner too. Yeah, we could cut through there and cut through there. I don't really think that we're going to miss out on, you know, 12 or, or half a dozen rice artificial ecosystems. Oh my god, what the hell is that? <laughs> don't look at it for too long, you'll go blind. Um, okay, well that's good. Hey, that's something, huh? Um, the ship's nice and, uh, and, and symmetrical there. We've got the hydroponics bay done, which I'm going to now somehow try and get it to grow icy crystals so that the whole ship doesn't, oh, fuck, fuck's sake, doesn't fall apart. Um, icy crystals, icy crystals, there we are, inactive zero crystals. Start from the top two. I'm, I'm surely going to miss one or two here, um, because apparently there's quite a lot of artificial ecosystems kicking around. Let's do something along those lines. There you go. Is that all of them? No, apparently not. Shit. Oh, that's also selected some of those, so don't don't believe it's lies. There we are. Um, okay, we're looking good there. How are we looking now? Yeah, that's all fine. And that's all fine. Hey, I think I've actually got them all. Okay, so along the front of the ship, I'm thinking big, big gun. Big, stinky gun. 
Uh, like plenty of these big stinky guns. Speaking of which, how much are they each? Two thousand Arco matter. How much are we up to now on the on the old on the old Arco matter front? Um, wake up. Right, let's have a look here. Oh, the lag. Uh, 1.27 million. Okay, so about the same. Um, to be fair, the game is running quite slow. Unsurprisingly, when we've got this big shitting thing in the way. Um, I want big Dagoth cannons. Dagoth cannons, what are they called? Uh, Dragonfire cannons. There we are. Um, basically along the front of the ship. I'm just thinking we cram as many of these bloody things in as possible, right? Um, so we do something like this. I have a feeling the ship's going to get very warm. <laughs> um... We'll put one there and one there. That's pretty good. I think we could put in a couple more. Yeah, sure. Why not? We might as well ram in as many as possible. Huh? Um, if we've thrown some shield breakers along that side too. Some of the um, the banisher cannons. Maybe pepper those along the front here as well. That's quite a nice combo, I think. And then all the other space we can fill with just kind of kind of crap. Um, so little little cannons, little turrets, whatever will fit in here. I assume some of these will, like the arc light cannon. Yeah, we can fit some of these in along the background. And then we do the same on the other side, too. Um, although we might not have this weird shape, but I'll try and copy it as best I can. Um, I'll turn to you, I suppose we could just get rid of that, couldn't we? we there's, no, there's no functional reason for this anymore. It's just kind of cordoning off habitable areas, but that's unnecessary now. Yeah, let's go ahead and get rid of this shit. It's been 40 years, or at least it bloody feels like it. So you can go back to the start of the episode if you feel like and go and compare the timestamp now to the timestamp then. Um, I have been playing pretty much non-stop. Uh, let me show you the mess that is this spaceship. Uh, I, I have tried to do things that have failed. Um, for example, I wanted to get all the hull tiles done, so I put down a load of walls. And then as I took the walls away to build other walls and kind of take things away and not have the rooms divided up like this because we don't want it like this, shit collapsed. Um, don't think it really matters too much, but things got quite messy. I built a shitload more turrets, and then I thought, oh, fuck, I've put these turrets down up here that they c now can't get to and build. And then I realized, hang on a minute, it's okay, because these turrets are in the ceiling. So now they're going back over there to sort it all out. Anyway, long story short, here we are with the first part of the ship. Now, I'm specifically not trying to do too much this episode. He says, um, how many hours later? Oh, God, it's like seven hours later. Jesus Christ. Anyway, um, seven hours later. I don't want to do too much because if I make a mistake here, I want you guys to be able to correct me. Um, but this is the first part. We've got the engines down. We've got the big laser up the middle. We've got uh, 24 Arcotech Dragon Fire Cannons along with 36 Arc Light Cannons. We are making so much Arco Matter at this point. I'm actually tempted to destroy the majority of these. Um, particularly because, as I realized this, we can't get to some of these central ones. So if, say, for example, the item puller breaks down, we're just stockpiling it that we can never get to. Um, so I'm kind of tempted to take a lot of these away. The game started lagging so heavily because of all the new extra shit that we built, I had to put people back in storage, otherwise it was running slower than speed one um, on maximum speed. There was no point playing anything but speed one, essentially, which obviously when you're trying to build something this large is very, very time consuming. Um, so here we are. They're gonna, I'm, I'm going to let them finish the last of this segment here. Um, just, just putting down some extra little turrets here and there. But besides that, I think today has been an absolutely incredible start. One thing that I have noticed that's been getting incredibly annoying is that the... Um, the doors, for whatever reason, always have power cables, which means if I forget to connect them to the grid, you have shit connecting up to doors, and they're not actually getting power. Um, so for example, like some of these coolers were connecting up to doors, and then were, weren't cooling, and then we were getting things catching fire and shit, and it was, uh, it's a bit of chaos. A lovely bit of chaos going on. Um, how are we doing? Let me, let me show you the actual ship stats right now. Um, so we're up to that number on uh, grid excess versus grid stored. So pay attention to that number because of course it's going to take a while for these bloody things to charge up things. They've only recently gone down um, and they've got that that number amount of watts being able to store and then we've got that number amount of heat units. Um, I want to put down a lot more heat capacity because that's nowhere near enough in my opinion. Um, but anyway, the pirate radio before had it to the eight, whereas we're only to the seven right now. Um, so putting down some little extra heat units, you know, we've got plenty of room for it. Um, ship is probably still way too large, but again, as long as we keep a good balance of guns, heat, and energy, doesn't matter. You know, at, at that point, we can, as long as we keep building bigger, the enemies can't touch us, in theory, right? Um, as long as we've got the right kind of ratio of everything, the bigger, the better at that point. So we'll kind of see how it goes. I still think this thing in the middle is a complete waste of time and effort. Um, <laughs> when given that we've got these super, super powerful lasers. Um, but it's kind of fun just to have that in the middle, I think. 
to, to, to make it nice and symmetrical. And I'm going to end it with a hilarious meme. Do you guys like memes? You versus the guy should tell you not to worry about. Thank you for watching. <clears throat> I apologize this episode is again slightly shorter than usual. Um, but it has been seven hours. Uh, so, you know, I've, I've only got 24 hours to make an episode on, on the daily. Uh, so... <laughs> <laughs> We're a little limited in how much I could churn out here. Thank you to Moira, Emily, Alex, Mr. Moma, Sideshow C, Layla, Callum James 3, Alibi, Dumgit, Gwen, Gun, One of Daz, I'm Sagatair, Demon X Jester, Zetlock, T Bag Cruise, Here We Go Again, 46, Psycho Fear, and Fredama Bob for their support at the executive producer tier on Coffee. So a big thank you to those guys. And a thank you as well to Prometheo, Deadly Kitten Hunt, Infectious, Number 5, Mr. Streamers, Lil Slut, Matthewson T, Mantle, Argies. Ar Ar Argus, Dommies, Big Chungus, Valord, Mayo, Tempe, Akka, Viazine, Spectre 2319, and of course all you guys at home for watching. Big thank you to you all for making it possible. Let's see what happens when we launch this thing up, huh? God, I hope the game just crashes. That would be a real cherry on the cake.